Content warning? The following article contains spoilers for the Disney Plus show She-Hulk. The ongoing Disney Plus series She-Hulk is full of major Easter eggs and references to comic books, creators, and other movies and shows in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That said, there are also numerous subtle nods and direct references to non-Marvel objects, movies and shows, and even real-life events in the series. From the tear-jerking death of Bing Bong to a version of the Hulk as Borat, there are several non-Marvel Easter eggs that are easy to miss in the show. These just further underscore the effort and attention to detail the creators poured into the entertaining series, which will undoubtedly continue to shine through in its final few episodes. Bing Bong made Jen cry during the grueling training period Jen goes through with the more experienced Bruce, he explains that her transformations are triggered by distressed emotional states, and they need to figure out her threshold to better understand her newfound abilities. Jen responds by recounting a scene from Pikesers Inside Out, describing the moment when Bing Bong jumps out of the wagon. The heartbreaking scene she references will be instantly recognizable for anyone who has seen the movie, as it's an unforgettable moment that shows the selfless sacrifice of the lovable character. Unfortunately, Bruce chooses a more violent route instead of just putting on the Pikeser film. Fava Beans from Hannibal Lecter Jen's first meeting with Emil Blonsky takes place in a maximum security prison, and the guard doesn't appreciate the protagonist's jokes. The final straw is when Jen drops a hilarious reference to the silence of the lambs, asking if Blonsky is gonna serve her up with some fava beans, and then a nice she doesn't finish her statement before the guard steps in. She's quoting the iconic Hannibal Lecter at that moment and doesn't get the chance to say the nice Chianti bit properly. Blonsky is certainly far from being a calculating cannibal, which Jen soon learns when she steps into his cell. Catching up with The Sopranos one of the funniest character meetings in the MCU takes place when Madison is unwittingly transported into Wong's home after Donnie Blaze's reckless magic trick. Wong is having a quiet night in and binge-watching some episodes of The Sopranos, which he has never seen before. The adorable Madison sadly has a tendency to share spoilers without thinking, which is exactly what happens when she sees Wong is watching an important episode of the show. The spoiler is the motivation Wong needs to confront Donnie about his careless use of the mystic arts. Matcher is the new Tinder when Jen realizes she's working on a Friday night, she makes the smart decision to choose to have some fun and open up her Matcher app. A few swipes later and she's set up some dates as she hulk, although only one of them would turn out sort of okay. If Matcher looks familiar, that's because it's clearly a reference to the real-life dating app, Tinder. The swiping mechanics are also the same, and at the rate Jen goes, it's obvious that it's not her first rodeo on the popular app. Mystic Castle sounds familiar Wong is furious when he talks about the so-called magician Donnie Blaze, detailing to Jen how he learned everything he knows from his time in Kamer Taj. One of the words he's sure to put in air quotes is Donnie's Mystic Castle, as he emphasizes that there's nothing mystic about it. The name of Donnie's space could be a nod to the legendary Magic Castle Hotel in Los Angeles, although there's nothing exclusive or private about the magician's version. Donnie's trying to claim the mystic arts as something he can use and name a building after. Multiple magicians Donnie is far from being the smartest character in She-Hulk, as he makes a string of bad decisions that unleashes demon-like creatures in the mystic castle. However, it's worth noting that here whoever designed where he performs his tricks knows a thing or two about magic. There are images and posters of real-life magicians in Donnie's theater and in his office. These include Robert Heller, Harry Keller, Charles Joseph Carter, and Harry Houdini, just to name a few. It's a shame he'll never live up to these talented historical figures. The goddess Guanyin at some point in the trial against Donnie, Wong realizes he has no choice but to call on Madison to be a witness.
it's soon clear that isn't the best decision, as he catches her during a party, and she's already far from sober. He's nervous as she takes the stand and says a small prayer to Guanyin for extra mercy. Guanyin is the goddess of mercy and compassion from Chinese mythology. Based on Madison's messy testimony, though, the goddess wasn't in the mood to meddle with mortal affairs. Madison and Wong'ers watch This Is Us Madison and Wong have quickly become one of the best ships in the MCU, with a charming post credits scene highlighting their sweet dynamic. In between handfuls of popcorn, Madison asks Wong what his favorite cocktail is, which leads to an amusing discussion. In the background, a family drama series called This Is Us is playing. It's hard to imagine how Wong can even pay attention to the tense events in that episode, with Madison talking his ear off and generally being adorable right next to him. Iron Man 3's Air Jordan's pug has already established himself as a likable character in She-Hulk, but he further proves how reliable he can be by teaming up with Nikki to find a designer for Jen. In exchange, he just wants Nikki to line up with him to get the new Iron Man 3s, as every customer is limited to just one pair. The sneakers are the Air Jordans of the MCU, as the design is an obvious reference, but also the exclusivity and hype around the release. The fun detail in the credits even showcases Pug's vast collection of superhero-themed sneakers. The Hulk as Borat Nikki and Pug don't expect to be blocked by a middleman when they attempt to reach a high-end designer for Jen. The unassuming employee in the Boba Cafe reveals that he's selling a bunch of counterfeit Avengers merchandise with several gut-busting variations to avoid copyright issues. While sifting through the Avongers merch, eagle-eyed fans may spot one strange-looking cartoon version of the Hulk wearing sunglasses in a mankini. Pair those with the mustache, and it's obvious that it's a reference to the Borat star Sacha Baron Cohen, who first wore that hilarious and controversial outfit in Kazakhstan almost two decades ago.